Hey, I want to introduce you guys to a plant that's been seriously overlooked and it's such a shame. It's called the Seminole Pumpkin. It's a beautiful small pumpkin, um, this, like the size of an acorn squash. Um, and it is um, very disease resistant, very, very easy to grow. And it was a, cr a native Indian crop here in Florida. The Indians used to grow it. Um, when Cortez came through, he burned out a lot of the Seminole Pumpkins and he was trying to starve the Indians out and as a result we lost the crop for a long time but there's several different farmers that have brought it back and um, and I'm growing it. I've been growing it now for a couple of years in my yard and it's just a really fantastic plant. This will blow your mind. This is one pumpkin plant. So you can see it starts over there. Here it goes along the fence. It really likes to go along like a fence or the house. It'll wrap around your house. It's going that way. Unfortunately, you know, you can't really mow underneath it, but it's so worth it for the plant. Um, and I want to show you guys. This is at least 80 feet long. It's actually heading up into the tree over there. And what makes this plant so unique and so amazing is it's very, very disease resistant. There's a little pumpkin starting there. Um, there's little pumpkins growing all over the place. But really, I have not found any pests that bother these pumpkins. The squash, the, the vine burrows, bur, bur, burrs, I can't say it, don't affect it. Um, any, the stuff that gets at cucumbers and, and attacks other squashes, don't touch this guy. Fungus doesn't seem to bother it. I mean, you can see here, there's some fungus, but it really doesn't bother enough of the plant to even warrant treating the plant. I don't treat this plant with anything. It, the secret to growing it is when you first start it, give it lots and lots of water and to get it established. But then once you do that, just leave it alone and it will grow and grow and grow. It'll even freeze back um, when there's a freeze, but it'll, it'll come back. Uh, at least that's been my experience in the mild Florida. And actually it'll start growing up trees. And that's Ponce de Leon, that's what he noticed is he called this the tree pumpkin because it was the Indians used to plant it underneath trees and pumpkins would hang down from the trees and he called it a tree pumpkin. So, wow, this is a plant that you're just not gonna go wrong with. It does grow in a variety of climates, so not just Florida, and it will take over your backyard. Yes, this is one plant. A really, really easy way to start it, I found, is to start it in the tower garden. It does like the nutrients in the tower garden. It does like the dampness of the tower garden. And then once it gets down to the ground, cut it loose from the tower garden because it's once it's once it's really rooted in. Because it'll root, it'll go down to the ground. It'll root in. Unlike like a zucchini, it'll it'll root into the ground. And then um, once it does that, cut it off from the tower garden because you probably won't get much fruit if it's growing if it remains in the tower garden because it doesn't like a whole lot of nutrients. Isn't that crazy? A plant that does not like a lot of nutrition. It grows well in the sand. Don't amend your soil. Just give it lots of water to start out and then completely and totally ignore it. And you're going to love this plant. Uh, just really 80 feet long, one plant. Just grow it. Just get them and grow it. You'll love it.